Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. My name is Giovanna Menendez, and today we're going to be reviewing something very awesome, very cool. My favorite DC superhero is back in action, better than ever. And of course, I am talking about Aquaman Unspoken Water, Volume 1, the beginning of the Kelly Sue DeConnick run on the hero. Of course, Robson Rocha and uh, Daniel Enriquez. And I gotta admit, I went in blind with this book and I was pleasantly surprised. Like, wow. But before we can get to that, I do have to mention how we got to this point. You see, before this run started, Dan Abnett finished off his run with uh, the DC Rebirth and whatnot with the Drowned Earth storyline, which I made a review on. And in that review, I mentioned of how big and epic and sort of like this swashbuckling adventure it all was. And at the end, Aquaman sacrifices himself to uh, save the world from the invading force and all that stuff, and everybody thinks he perished. But at the end, there's this... Uh, teaser, if you will, that he, of course, did not. And instead of starting over with a new Volume 1, this picks up with issues 43 to 47, and basically just continues where Abnett left off. And I have to give massive praise uh, to Kelly for doing this, and just uh, taking the series into new, bold, interesting directions. Part of what I like about Aquaman is that it's not only a superhero title, it's more about magic and the world around you and how uh, the character can serve, you know, you've heard this before, how he can serve as a bridge between two worlds and can, uh, you know, can take you on these epic adventures that other superheroes would not be able to because they're busy crime fighting or in space or whatever you get to see something different with the oceans and uh, the world itself is a breathing component of what makes uh, the Aquaman uh, comics so mystifying there is a lot of mythology thrown around there's a lot of world building and epic scope of how uh, the world works and Atlantis how it's live it's basically a living history uh, of a city and all that stuff but what we do get in unspoken water is actually pretty awesome kelly sue DeConnick is able to take the character and strip everything away and sort of build the pieces back up bit by bit in these first five issues not only do we get a character examination of what aquaman uh, of him of arthur questioning who he is because he cannot remember uh, he doesn't know where he is he ends up uh on this town called the unspoken water and with these uh new characters these new villagers that they themselves in the story explained uh to him which they call him andy they sort of talk about how them uh they each found their way to that island if you will uh, sort of like this rebelliousness with these characters and how they each ended up uh, on the shores of this island, I should say. And uh, yeah, uh, aside from deconstructing the character, what is beautiful about this title is that Kelly is able to flex her muscle in an awesome, beautiful way by introducing new concepts and opening up the... Uh, mythology of Aquaman and and sort of going into creationism and uh, just the origin of everything if you will and and it's really riveting and really awesome and I absolutely loved it it really reminded me of the days when Peter David wrote Aquaman and basically just expanded that world into new horizons where you don't you didn't know what to expect uh, when you first read the Atlantis Chronicles and you learned about all this uh, wondrous events that were happening uh, you're not used to reading about that and that's sort of the charm with Aquaman because he's always been such an underrated underdog character that you can't help but feel like glee and be marveled at uh, the construction of his world and how everything works and with a title like this and what Kelly Sue DeConnick is able to do is build up 
on that framework and add her own uh, unique twist to this ever-evolving uh, plot of um, the oceans and how they relate to Aquaman and all that stuff. Uh, the characters are pretty awesome. All the new characters that are introduced, uh, it's not what it seems at first and it takes a little bit uh, of getting used to. first issue reminded me of, and, and Jesus, this is a, a horrible uh, comparison. I am, I'm terribly sorry about this, but <laughs> it's how my brain works. It reminded me of X-Men Origins Wolverine, the movie, and when uh, Wolverine <laughs> gets his jacket because he's staying in this, uh, briefly, in this old couple's house or whatever. Uh, it, it plays out in a similar kind of way, but it's totally different. It's it's a much better scenario, uh, better written, and all that stuff. Uh, I I I really enjoyed um, going from there and figuring out how uh, Arthur was going to uh, potentially get his powers back and get his memories and all that stuff. Now it does end in a cliffhanger, of course, because the run is ongoing. I don't, I'm not reading it. As it comes out, I am waiting for the second hardcover. But what we do get in in these five issues, like I said, aside from exploring Arthur's uh, psyche and who he is, is just unlocking a new chapter of the DC world, and in this case, Aquaman's world, with uh, the creation of the oceans and the sea gods and all that stuff. And just... It brings back that bombastic uh, nostalgia that we read in the 90s, uh, in the early 90s with, with uh, Peter David's run. It really reminded me of that, and if the series can continue the hype as it's going, as it's doing, I think it's going to be great. And easily, Kelly has cemented herself as one of the greats when it comes to the Aquaman library, in my honest opinion. That's, that's what I think. Now, part of the success of this book, of course, has to be Robson's art. It is breathtakingly awesome. It reminds me of this uh, Capullo-esque style, uh, very emblematic of the 90s and, of course, the 2000s. It sort of goes into that territory, but it's, it's bright and, and expressive and mean and grungy when it has to and the colors just pop and really relate to what you're reading if it's a dark and murky scene you feel it you feel the atmosphere from the drawings and and Enriquez and Rocha they just do a fantastic job uh, with the art in this book now I was pleasantly surprised of course that it is a hardcover it's a shame that it's a regular sized I wish it were oversized but you do get a hefty amount of extras and behind the scenes and sketches and all that stuff which uh, you know I'm a huge fan of so I really do recommend it if you have read any of the previous Aquaman runs and you are considering getting Unspoken Water then yeah, absolutely do uh, do get it and enjoy it because uh, once again, Kelly Sue DeConnick, uh, she is able to breathe new life into a title that was already great in my eyes, but now is even greater. It's a fun, action-packed story with a lot of mysteries. Arthur, of course, uh, you know, this self-exploration leads him into new territory that he's never been a part of. And uh, I, I did like how they were able to tie in the uh, new look for our boy AC uh, with uh, Jason Momoa's uh, live action adaptation. That was actually pretty cool. I liked how they did that because he is <laughs> sporting the beard and the long hair and eventually the tattoos and stuff. So I really like that. Uh, so, yeah, um, I could go into detail, but I don't want to spoil uh, such a cool starting run for the character uh i just want to say that you should pick it up if you want to have a fun time with a different sort of take on aquaman i am ready and i am eagerly awaiting volume two 
to continue my adventure. Guys, have you read this run? Have you read the first volume, Unspoken Water? It's only five issues. It's a fairly quick read, but I'm interested in knowing if you guys have read it. Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing to A Week in Geekdom. That is awesome. 1,600 wonderful people have subscribed, and I am just floored with emotion. Thank you so much. It really does mean the world to me. I wish... Uh, it's unreal that so many people are tuning in and subscribing and, and liking and all that stuff. It, I still don't really believe it, but it's 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 there, and, and I thank you for that. That is really awesome. I know it's a small number compared to other people, but uh, I really appreciate it. it, it it's, it's great. Thank you guys uh, once again. Also, uh, follow me on your favorite social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, those three. Just type a week and geek them, and I am there for you. All right. Uh, I've got to go. I've got more stuff to read, play, review, and just geek out over. I will catch all of you on our next episode.